So we're going to finish up the day on uh, race 12 at La Touche Cup, who's a four mile two final handicap, 0 to 160. So number one, the jockey assassin for Paul Rhodes, two, Sunny Side Up for Paul Rhodes as well, three, Barbarella for Bolivia Robinson, four, misrepresenting for John Morgan, five, let your mind for Martin Leedman, six, Ty Cottage for Ghost Sapper, seven, Bottas for James Follis, Great Noises, eight for Kevin Meenan, Zar Creek for Stu Gray is nine, Funkia for Alex Cherry is ten, W again for Kevin Meenan is eleven, twelve is Latterly Oat of Darren Howes, thirteen is Meserat for Obi Wan, and fourteen is Latterly Pepper also for Darren Howes, so fourteen of them. Some of these would certainly have been running in the National last week. I think we've got the audio sorted out here for this event. So uh, Punches Town have got their fingers out. And at least we won't have silent running. So they're all being uh, moved in as we can see them. There they are. Star has got them away. So wait for them to settle down and go over the first of 22 fences. Get over that and it's Zarkri and Great Noise and Tight Cottage. Here you one, two, three. And a few back to Merzerat. Represented on the outside. So we need to push through and probably take this up. We'll have to challenge alongside Great Noise and Zakri, all known front runners over these long events. They get to the second. Everybody's over at full jump at the rear by Funkia, made a bit of a mistake. We come inside the furlong or past the grandstand. I we thought we've got another two circuits to go. We've led past the winning post for the first time by Great Noise, Zakri in second. Misrepresented in Tight Cottage, Merza Rat W again. Two road stables, Jockey Assassin and Sunnyside Side Up. Latterly Pepper and Latterly Iota are together in the orange silk, the orange cap, and black sleeves. Outside of that is Bottas. And we, you know, I think following them through is Barbarella. Funky your own, let your mind. Get to the third. The leaders are all over it. Oh, we've lost one. Let your mind's gone there. It's fallen at the third. I think Let Your Mind was fourth in the Grand National last week. Bad luck there for Martin. Just one runner in this, and he's already gone. So they get to the fourth. Big open ditch. The leads. Oh, we've lost another one then. Barbarella's gone for David Robertson. Bad luck. There's a faller there. So we're down two. Only three, four fences. Another one that I think was in the national. Did he not come second or third last week? But, uh, not taking any more part in this race. So great noise still leads us from Zarkri. Misrepresenting in Tide Cottage. Merzerat. They've pretty much been the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 through the first 5, 6 furlongs here. We've got W again. And the Jockey Assassin on their own. We get to the 5th. Gap back to Latterly Pepper. Bottas, Latterly Iota. Funkier and Sunny Side Up has drifted right back to the rear. So they come down to the next. Still over 3 miles to travel. It's our great and great noise. The swing right. Ty Cottage misrepresenting Meserat. Two links back to W again, the jockey assassin. And then a further three or four back to Latterly Pepper. Bottas. You can't see the rest at the moment. So they come down to the next, the sixth. The leaders are over it. That right jumps it well. That's great noise in Zark Creek. Battling it out over these four more pluses for most of the season. Event, although we've got a couple of John Morgan horses in here. Um, but, uh, we will not have done well at the National. Misrepresenting didn't get nominated in time last week. It was unfortunate. Tiny Cottage was a faller. But those uh, five with Merzerat, who's joined them now, have got about a five length advantage from W again and the Jockey Assassin as they go over the eighth. The leaders are over it. And the rest of the pack. Just at the rear is Sunny Side Up run in the national last week unusual to be sitting right at the back of the moment so they're through eight into the ninth now and the five in front are all together great noise are great tight cottage mirza and misrepresenting about three back to w again as they go over the night oh we've lost one there misrepresenting has gone one of john's is out of the race bad luck down. That's three. And we've still got the wonderful pull-ups to come into to play around about the 10 furlong mark as usual. But it's great noise. Tide Cottage, Zarkrete and Merzerat by about three to W again on his own. 
Oh, and he went through the top of that. Bit of a mistake by W again. He's going to get joined by the jockey assassin. And we've got Bottas, Funkia. And I'm assuming Lassley Pepper, sunny side up, and Lassley Iota are still in the race. Just out of shot. And go over the 11th. Although Funkia took a bit of a dive at it. Lucky to stay on his feet. Still over two miles to go in his tight cottage. Great noise, Zarkreed and Merzerat. So they're going to come past the winning post. With a circuit to go. Over the 12th, which will be the last next time round. All over it. We've got about five lengths back to W again. Bottas moving up a little bit and the jockey assassin. And they're probably two to three lengths away from Funkier at the moment. There's still 10 fences to jump, and just under two miles to travel. It's Mina Hand, Morgan, Gray, and One. The first four. And about four back to W again. Also to Kenny Mina Hand. We'll get over the 13th. It's not unlucky for anybody. It's probably 25 long, well, maybe 25 lengths between first and last. Great noise still lead from Ty Cottage and Merzerat. Just a couple now back to W again as they go over another ditch, the 14th. Everybody's over it. Almost Indian file bar the front uh, four. It's a little more and a half to travel. And Sarkreek, great noise, Ty Cottage and Merzerat. W again, Bottas, Jockey Assassin and Sunny Side Up's moved up a little bit now. Got himself in a last position. Here, Lassley Pepper and Lassley Iota. As our creek leads into the next. Is it fine? Next is the rest. We're almost a perfect Indian file now. All bar Merzeret and Tide Cottage. Some great noise, our creek, Tide Cottage, Merzeret, W again, and Bottas. Come back to the Jockey Assassin and Sunny Side Up. Zarkri have now taken the lengths out of Merzerat and Tide Cottage who are together as they come to the next, the 16th. All oh, the leaders are over it, although Great Noise made a bit of a mistake. He's still on his feet. I think he didn't jump that one particularly well either. So now, just on his own up front, is Zarkri as we come to a mile from home. It's Zarkri from Great Noise, Tide Cottage, Merzerat and W again that's tagged onto this leading pack now. And there's a couple back to Bottas. Trying to move up now is the jockey assassin being pushed along. So they're in some well inside the mile now. They get over the 17th. The one that didn't take that well was Tide Cottage. Drifts back into the rear of the leading pack. But again, a bit closer order now. So it's our creek from Great Noise and W again. Then Merzerat, Tide Cottage, the jockey assassin running well now. Bottas, sunny side up under a bit of the whip. So they go over the 18th, which is another open ditch. They're all over it. So but up front now, the jockey assassin swings on by and takes it up inside the six. And it's the jockey assassin now from Great Noise and Zark Creek. Jockey assassin's had enough of drifting along here. So it's the jockey assassin, the top weight. Leads by a couple now from Great Noise and Zark Creek. And about two back to Tide. Cochin W again, Merza, Rat, Sunnyside Up and Bottas, it's going to be between these, they're over the 19th, everybody's jumped it well and it's the Jockey Assassin now being chased down by the Tide Cottage, Great Noise and Zarkri seem a little bit leaden footed now, the one there on the outside running well is Sunnyside Up, W again trying to make another run at it, we're inside the final half a mile now, it's the Jockey Assassin takes him over he going through the top of it, and Ty Kaj a couple of poor jumps, Sunny Side Up didn't jump it well but it's the Jockey Assassin, but now being joined alongside by the Tide Cottage, three and a half furlongs to go and it's the Jockey Assassin, Ty Cottage great noise, Sunny Side Up, Zarkreet and W again, we're all under a lot of pressure we're going to have to do a bit, they get to the 21st, the penultimate, Ty Cottage jumps it first, and the Jockey Assassin in second, everyone else has jumped it well, so up front it's Ty Cottage Jockey Assassin and Sunnyside up trying to chase down this 
leader Ty Cottage burst into the lead and got a four length advantage Felon in the National last week would have hoped to have done better got a reasonable weight in this gets over the last he's jumped it well with a furlong and a half to run the rest are over it but I think Ty Cottage has got this in the bag with a furlong left to run they're not going to catch this one so Ty Cottage is going to take this for John Morgan second's going to be sunny side up and third's going to be great noise Zarkreet and Bottas fight out fourth and fifth but it is a win for Ty Cottage Wins by about four from Sunnyside up in second. Great noise in third. So our creek just hangs on for fourth and Bottas was fifth. So win there for jump. Well done with Ty Cottage. Second, sunny side up for Paul Rhodes. Third, great noise for Kevin Meanham. Fourth was our creek for Stu Gray. And fifth was Bottas for James Forrest.